guest will be appearing at the Punchline in San Francisco, December 2nd through the 6th. Please welcome the very funny Greg Barrent. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Two things real quick. Two things real quick. Number one, what happened to pudding? When I was a kid, man, growing up, pudding was an A number one headlining dessert. It was tops, man. If you got pudding, you'd done something right. Pudding was for little heroes. Now, pudding can't get arrested. You go into a restaurant and order pudding, you might as well order a turd pie. They don't have it. <laughs> now, they're, they're not interested in your pudding stories, man. I love pudding. Pudding is awesome. If I worked for the Pudding Board of America, you know what my slogan would be? Pudding. What are we not doing? People, it's simple. You can eat pudding, and then you can spit it out, and you can eat it again. <laughs> it's exactly the same. So you can have your pudding four times. <laughs> Can't do that with cobbler. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I like candy, but I had to give up trick-or-treating last year, mostly because my Silver Surfer costume was freaking people out. <laughs> Nobody needs to see a nearly 40-year-old dude in a silver bikini bottom holding an ironing board in a glad bag. That's freaky for some folks, and they prefer to close their door. But now I get to give candy, you know, and tonight I'm gonna be giving good candy. Look, at my house, you win. You know why? I don't do, f I do full-size candy bar, not fun-size. What's fun about this? Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you want to know what's fun? Candy bar you can lay down on, all right? <laughs> and I have selection at my house. Selection. Understand me that I have all food groups covered. I have chocolate caramel. I have chocolate with crispy. I have chocolate with cookie. Chocolate with nut. Not a lot of nut. I'm not going to unload almond joy on you and expect you to dig that. That is too much nut, Johnny Protein. All right? <laughs> Raw almond and coconut. Take your grandma candy elsewhere. <laughs> Some, if not all, of the M&M family at my party. And you say, well, Greg, maybe I don't like chocolate. That's okay, because I have you covered in what I like to call a pectin-based fruit chew, all right? <laughs> Skittles, dots, razzles, razzles, half candy, half gum. What is it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let the razzle become you, okay? <laughs> now, I just have two rules when you come to my house. Two rules, really simple. Number one, wear a costume. A lot of kids roll up on the doorstep, no costume with an attitude, and I have to say, is this no costume candy giveaway day? I didn't think so. It's a lamb! <laughs> And number two, don't grab. Don't be Johnny reach and grab. Don't grab and yank and tear out of there. Let me assess you. Yeah. And then design a candy situation for you. I think you will be pleased. So last year, Spider-Man number four comes down my driveway in a series of Spider-Mans, and it is not looking good for this kid from the get-go, all right? He's got his mask off, suit's kind of baggy, and he's crying. It's about 13. All right, and he's with his little sister. Now, his little sister's got the Little Mermaid thing happening. She looks fantastic, all right? She's not going to be able to leave my porch unassisted. That's how much candy she's going to get. <laughs> and they're with their mom, and, they, and the mom explains to me that the reason that dude is crying is because his little sister keeps ringing the doorbell and he wants to. <laughs> now, hang on. If you know anything about me as a dude, you know that I'm a guy that says, hey, man, if you're a young fella and you got tears, you go ahead and cry those tears, all right? Don't bottle that. Don't bottle it up and take it into your relationships later on. We don't need it. <laughs> However... Pick your battles, bro, all right? <laughs> 13 crying at doorbells, long, hard road for you, I fear. Long, hard road. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna punish this kid, but he's definitely not going chocolate caramel. We'll probably do something in a dot razzle situation, all right? <laughs> but as I am unloading the goodness on his sister, the dude breaks rule number two, reaches, grabs, yanks the bag out of my hand, and that's when I had to rear back and go, because I snapped. I go, ho, oh, oh, ho, hang on, crybaby Spider-Man. <laughs> Now, I don't believe I'm familiar with Crybaby Spider-Man. I don't know what his special powers are. Getting me caught in a web of tears because daddy ain't buying. <laughs> now, I got two ways we can go with this. Two ways. Number one, the bag of punishment, which I haven't told you about. That is a bag filled with broccoli, kale, <laughs> dandelion greens, and feta cheese, and it's warm. <laughs> Or I can be a good guy, slip on the Silver Surfer costume and take him a couple blocks and teach him how to get this right, because this is an awesome holiday. We celebrate the dead by giving candy to costume strangers. That is beautiful. And that's exactly what I did. I took this kid a couple of blocks and everything was cool, you know, and then I bailed. Dude kept ringing the doorbell. I like to ring the doorbell. My name's Greg Barron. Thank you all very much. Great as always. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Greg Barron, everybody, let's take a break. We'll be right back.
everybody, uh, that's our show. Do you want to thank all my guests? Greg Barrett, that was very funny. Thanks for doing that. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Good man. Our thanks, Mr. David Cross, for stopping by. All right. You're welcome. And I call him Jimmy Kahn because I can. That's James Kahn. Our thanks to him. Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg 17 for last call. God and Dad, about, 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 I mean, Mr. T, okay, our next... He's just going someplace. I don't know where he's going. He just walks around, that mummy. <laughs> What's he... Just hanging around backstage. That is the least frightening mummy I've ever seen of all time. What you doing? I'm just hanging around. Okay, our next classic movie monster, listen to this, was born Jewish, but legally changed his name to avoid discrimination. Please welcome Frankenstein or as he's known in his exclusive country club, Franklin Stone. That was a wicked backhand today, Stone. Mm. Yes, you haven't been practicing on us, have you? <laughs> Frankenstein! Mm. Oh, Green Glass, you don't remember me, Frankenstein. I think you're mistaken, sir. This is Franklin Stone, a member of our country club. Mm. No, it's not. It's Frankenstein. We went to Hebrew school together. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Let's go, Pierce. How's Aunt Sadie? Mm. Oh, 